Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my corner of the world. We are here for a Codename Super reaction to his video, The Perfect Get Back. Vegeta sells the squad and gets violated. He did, and he, he more than deserved it. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to hop into this. Uh, link to the original will be in the description. Here we go. So this man Vegeta got rizzed up by Cell. It was all over once that man Cell started off with Prince Vegeta. It had this man smiling the whole time. Like, look at this. Can they stop flirting, bro? Hey, yo. But nah, this really got me pissed off while watching this. They did not have to write bro like this. Why is he allergic to winning? Just take your win. Like, Facts. come on, Vegeta. You don't gotta sell. You are a loser. Simple. Accept it. Move on. But anyways, Vegeta's <laughs> favorite graph is fuck around and find out. It's crazy how they have three Z fighters on that island and the only one not selling is Trunks. Trunks goes to stop yes. selling because he don't need to see another Andrigity takeover. The PTSD no. started kicking in from when the future Andrigities cooked up Gohan for 14 years and chased bro out of his own timeline. That shit is wild. Can't even lie, they went down in history as the best duo of all time. They were too dominant in their era. We talking Shaq and Kobe, they had a dynasty. But anyways, Trunks is like, you gotta get through me first. And we see Sellers raging because he just got in his ass beat and just had to glaze Vegeta for permission to get his new form nah bro if i have to do all that glazing and this motherfucker trunks pulls up on me i'm fighting back tears bro i just did all <laughs> that just let me have this please but here go krillin bro could have just waited and held on to the remote just in case but nah let's destroy it in front of 18 bro thought she was about to jump into his arms after he did that he think he in a movie no even she said that was stupid I know bro wanted to fall to his knees after that. That shit made him sick. But nah, let's skip to the part where Cell pulled up on them, cause that is the funniest shit ever. Their squad was Android 16, 18, and Krillin. <laughs> nah, y'all got me using the Vine Boom sound effect. What type of lineup is that? <laughs> Look at Krillin trying mad hard just to do zero damage. Bro is ass. And come on bro, what is this? Yeah, now we just doing anything. This man really just threw his arm like that. And to top it off, bro is running at him with 2 HP. Look at him. Like, it's time to hang the jersey up, bro. This is not about a workout. You're done. Doing mad punches and doing okay, no so game. This man first sells, like, that shit tickle. Get your weak ass down. Look at bro's his face. You know he don't want to get back up. And look at 18. She should have been using that energy to fly the other direction. But no, she pulls up on Cell and this man Cell is having the time of his life. Look at him. Cell was getting cooked up by Fajita but started reverse boosting. Got into the easy lobbies. Now it's free eat. Kind of crazy how this team is set up like they have in Naruto. Most of the teams be having two guys and one girl. Like we got team 7, team 10. And this one will fit right in, team shit. I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna skip to the perfect cell transformation. But before I do that, why did this man Vegeta try to play Trunks like that? Bro talking about some you won't. I won't what? <laughs> Abra looking like bro with white eyes. <laughs> Trunks said, yo, I, my whole life I've been fighting androids, bro. I came to this point in time to prevent y'all from going through what I already went through. The androids are my number one enemy. If you cross me, we are going to have a problem. Vegeta was like, man, you ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> Trunks was like, say less. <laughs> like, all right, bet. <laughs> so blasted him to the sky like trunks was not playing and i don't blame him he is the only one here with common freaking sense like we should be trying to get rid of cell right now but now let's actually get to the transformation because this shit was crazy this has to be the best dragon ball z villain transformation we got this transformation was so tough this man trunks started hating he tried to break one of the sacred rules in anime and rushed to stop him. This man said was like, bitch, yep. I'm not finished. Move. You know you're not allowed to do that. Come on. This transformation was like four minutes long. If you ever get the time to rewatch it, you should. But now nah, look at how he came out the transformation. He is glowing crazy. I'm not going to lie, Vegeta. You should have left while you were ahead. Look at this man's cell. What is he looking at? His pronouns went from not him to I'm him. This shit is scary. Like I said before, these Dragon Ball Z transformations are the equivalent to dudes getting a fresh cut. They are never like the 98% of people on New Year's. They always talk about some New Year, New Me. And then by the end of the year, they don't even be getting the before and after transformations. They be getting the before and before that. Bro, it's been a whole year. What happened? But let's get back to it. We see Cell. This man is infatuated with himself. 
bro was on some ooh, ooh look at me had this man krillin fighting back tears this is crazy i know you saw that that weak ass flashback for that weak ass kiss she living in this man's head rent free right now I was about to say he don't be rushing main villains. Especially like since she didn't even care about me. him I'm going to have to give this man respect. Bro. He is brave. But unfortunately, it doesn't mean anything. Because his attacks do zero damage. He knew it was up when he used his patented move, the Destructo Disc. And this man just brushed it off. That shit had me confused. Because that <laughs> shit was really cutting up people like Frieza. But anyway, mm -hmm. so was like, enough of that weak shit. Holds up to Krone and is like, that don't work. There's no way out of this one. You're done. Yeah. Kicks this I man Krillin. And nah, why does Cell always kick people into dunk animations? Got bro looking like LeBron. Come bro on, got man. his Time neck broken after off. that kick. This man has never done that pose in his life. Look at him. And that's how you know he come in different. This man Vegeta goes after him and starts attacking him. And he just blocks it all off. Look at his face. This man is straight plotting. He didn't throw one attack. That shit low-key scared me. Because what type of devious nefarious acts does he have planned? Why is he waiting so long to fade him? That man had you on your knees. I know you're plotting something. Now nah, this had Vegeta fans on a lifeline because we not even a minute in and Vegeta started key spamming. And what's worse, he started smirking like he did something. So the smoke clears and he realizes that Cell is behind him. And guess what bro's next decision is? Does he A, try boxing him? B, key spam again? C, fly away? Or key D, spam. ask for help? And if you know who Vegeta is, key spam. there's only two options you could have chose from. And guess what? He key spams. And you could guess how that worked. It didn't. It didn't work at all. Matter of fact, we're starting to see what's really going on. Cell is making this man Vegeta lose his mind. He's doing we, what he we, did to him. We. I was sitting here wondering why he didn't fade we. him. But he is fading him. Psychologically. Mm -hmm. You see, every second he doesn't attack, he makes Vegeta look even worse. It got so bad that Cell let Vegeta hit him. When we saw this man took no damage, that man Crown was like, Alright, y'all could jump him now. Vegeta would... And you know the craziest thing about that kick is that when Vegeta kicked him, he definitely felt the impact, right? Like, it it was so, so much that he actually moved Cell's head. And he was like, yeah, I did that, right? But the crazy thing is, while Vegeta was still in the air holding that pose from the kick, Cell looks him dead in his face and gives him a devious smirk like that's it <laughs> what would y'all do in that scenario you give somebody a hard like punch or a hard kick whatever and they look you dead in your face and give you a devious smirk like that's all you got what what are you doing after that me personally i give up I, i'm no longer fighting you but how about y'all? <laughs> Feel free to let me know. Would rather get sent to the depths of hell than accept help. He's too far gone. But this man is starstruck because he really put his all into that attack. And this man is over there smirking. We need a normalized running from villains. Not everything is about honor. Sometimes we just want to live, bro. This man cell finally hits Vegeta with an attack, and mm. Vegeta just looks like he wants to cry, bro. I feel bad. Nah, why he doing the prince like that? Had hey, Brody like, no. Let himself fall to the water. Trunks watching like, damn, he rage quit. Vegeta eventually comes out the water, and oh no. Cell has done it. He has checked every box. He had Vegeta on his knees. But here comes the icing on the cake. This man Vegeta uses the final flash. That move may look cool, but it got no accolades. That move hasn't caught one body. Big Bang better. Argue with your mother. But I'm not gonna You're lie. You're not wrong. I'm gonna tell y'all something I never share with anyone. The way I hopped on the bandwagon when this man had Cell looking like this, I was like, that's my favorite character right there. <laughs> and then bro regenerated like two seconds after. And I was just like, never mind. Nah, that shit was funny though. Cell was really like, bring that shit. And then when he uses the attack for real, he like, oh no, nah. hold on. Do you see 16? He's like, oh no, nah. he's bugging either. Th Sorry to pause again, but like the thing that even makes that even crazier is the fact that he got Zenkai boost. He has Saiyan cells within his bloodstream, right? So like that attack technically pushed him to the point of like i guess kind of i mean it wasn't necessarily a near death experience 
Like, if it had been aimed, like, maybe on the other side, like, I would assume Cell has a heart, right? Um, if he had, like, attacked that, then maybe. But still, regardless, the fact that <laughs> he got half of his body blown off and he regenerated it, that definitely counts as a Zenkai boost, right? So, yeah, Vegeta, he... Yeah. That, or he's thinking of how many birds are about to get eviscerated yeah. by Vegeta's attack. Who knows what that man's ever thinking? But it's pretty much over. So is walking over to Vegeta. And as we see, he's clearly looking to end this man. Bro is nervous, so he fires a key blast. And this man hits him with the JoJo pose. I don't even watch that show and I know that's the pose, bro. <laughs> and then he starts key spamming again. And Cell comes out to rock his shit. I'm not gonna lie, watching this shit about to make me cry, bro. Like, why he doing him like that, bro? Look at him struggling to get up, bro. Nah, Prince, please. But nah, he kicks him up and hits him with the down air and it's just over. Bro sold the squad, now he's eating dirt. Nah, this shit is crazy. I know that's it for Perfect Cell's get back, but hold on. Before y'all get on Vegeta's head for doing all this, Let's not forget that Goku basically did the same shit with Frieza. He just won, and that's the crazy part. They really are the same people. They're always one decision away from selling, and they basically choose it every time. Oh yeah, thanks for 77. But the difference, the difference here with uh, Goku versus Frieza is the fact that while, yes, Goku did give Frieza energy to like get up and leave when frieza used that bit of energy he got <laughs> from goku to attack him instead goku blasted him he blasted him to the point of having like his body destroyed like i mean not completely but like he blasted Frieza and left him for dead. And honestly, if it weren't for the plot of bringing him back so Trunks could kill him, Frieza would have been dead, all right? Like, he would have died. Like, that's the difference here. Goku gave the enemy a chance, and they squandered it, so he got rid of the enemy. Vegeta... He just sold the whole fight by letting his enemy get to a level that he could not achieve. At the time, anyway. But, yeah, another W video. This was really cool. Uh, like, this whole, this whole situation could have been avoided if people had just... You know what, I'm not even going to say it because I'm becoming a broken record at this point. But yeah, this whole situation could have been avoided. Anyway, uh, like I said, links to the original video will be in the description. That's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed my reaction to this, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya.